Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, Winston. Oh, for today's video, <laughs> because apparently you guys respond to when I test my comfort levels. It's not the craziest thing in the world, but I'm not the type of person that First wants everybody to be looking at me. I'm fine with being in the background. As I'm on this whole self-love journey, I kind of want to stop being so timid and so shy. <laughs> Long story short, last Halloween, I bought black liquid lipstick. I have never used it. And I mean, I guess since it's black lipstick, it's kind of in the Halloween theme. I'm going to challenge myself to wear that black lipstick all day long, even to the gym. I have a couple errands that I need to run, so I'm going to do that. I don't know how this is going to go. I work at 5. I'm going to wear my lipstick to work. I'll go to the gym after. Wish me luck. First impression, you OPN. We should be close to friends. If you so while I eat my breakfast, I'm gonna be looking up makeup ideas. I want it to look wearable. I don't want to look crazy. Somehow I think I'm still gonna look crazy. Looking at these makeup looks on Pinterest. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to look like any of these girls. She's closing up. Come to visit me. She said that she the lonely us. And it's hard to open up. Open you up like a puck ball. Open up. Tell you how for puck ball. Let your emotions fall. Fall on me. Open up. For today, I just did like really light makeup i didn't want to do my eyebrows too thick i didn't want to do my eyeshadow too dark now it's time okay lipstick is wet and wild liquid cat suit i don't even know if it's good uh, we're gonna find out mm, okay oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god everybody's gonna be staring Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh my god. Oh, kind of bad. I'm so nervous. Okay, I'm gonna go do my hair really fast. Let this sink in. And I have a dilemma. I usually wear black, right? Do I just full send with like a black outfit? Will people look at me more if I have a black outfit? Will people look at me more if I don't? I don't know what to wear. <laughs> okay, so I went for my fuzzy sweater because it's a little chilly outside. Mom jeans and my Nikes. Let's go. I'm here at my first stop and I need you guys to know that I've been sitting in my car for at least 20 minutes. I just don't want people to be staring at me like, but that's the whole reason why I did this. Okay, let's do it. You see, I thought I looked cool until I walked outside and I feel like somebody's gonna accuse me of stealing something or casting a spell on them. I don't know. I went to, to, to return something. The guy at the cash register said that he liked my lipstick and my hair. Maybe he's into like brat doll looking chicks. I don't know, but it made me feel a little bit better. So that's good. Okay, next stop, because it's literally right next door gonna be my home with my lipstick just in case I need to move. Obviously I'm not too worried about being in here. Tell me why every single person who has passed by me over the age of maybe 30 is staring at me. Like they look at me and they double take. It's just lipstick I don't understand. First impression, you OPN, we should be close to You guys! Okay, usually when I go into Barnes & Noble, you know there's somebody at the front desk right there? Somebody always says like, hi, welcome, whatever. Every single time that I've stepped into this Barnes & Noble, somebody has said hi to me or welcome or whatever because I'm pretty sure that's what they're supposed to do. I walked in, there were two employees 
organizing books, the two people at the desk, and there were two people at the register. Not one of them, not one of them said a word to me. They looked at me, they saw me. If I wear this on a daily basis, are people not gonna say hi to me? Maybe I was a little paranoid, but like sitting on one of the couches and I was facing outside like the walkway. So obviously if you're passing by, you're gonna look at me cause I'm there. But like <laughs> nine out of 10 people looked at me normally and double took like, bitch, what is on your face? I don't wanna do this anymore. I work with a lot of older people Sometimes I even get looks or comments about my hair. Forgive me if I'm not ecstatic to go to work today. Just left Spirit and honestly, I, it was really frantic. Googity was running around. Nothing to report, but I didn't really expect anything there. Now, it's 4.04, so I'm gonna go get something to eat before I have to go into work. Ladies and gentlemen, very gorgeous Coco on stage one. What that's coming up next? Okay. What? Yeah. what did you say about my lipstick? Yes. I asked if you were okay. Why? Because you got black hair, black nose, mm -hmm. black lipstick. I don't know if you're going through a phase or something. Oh, I'm not going through a phase. Okay, thank you. Wait, Kendra. I have a very important question to ask you for my vlog. What did you think about my lipstick? I love it. Thanks. Look okay on it? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's why I told you. I said I love the dark. <laughs> yeah. You need to rock that more often. But the blue hair, black lips, KK sister. Hell yeah. Hey. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I had some actions at work. It got kind of busy, so after a while, I didn't even remember that I was wearing it. It looks a little busted now, but a couple of old ladies staring at me, but that was to be expected. Yeah, it's time to go home. All right. I'm gonna try not to talk so loud because I just got home from work and everybody's already asleep. Today was interesting. I'm not gonna lie and say like, oh my God, it was amazing and everybody was so nice and like nothing bad happened. I mean, nothing bad really did happen. I did get some looks, mainly by older people, sometimes by little kids who are kind of just like, what's on your face? <laughs> Overall, it was a really good experience. Really anxious to film this and to do it. It's one of those things that when you do it, it's not really that big of a deal. You know, there's some of you who were watching this and the whole time you're thinking like, it's not a big deal. Sometimes my anxiety is irrational. Sometimes, it's about big things, sometimes it's about small things. I'm happy I did it. I'm definitely gonna be rocking this color a little bit more. Yeah, I like it. This might sound stupid. This might sound weird. I feel like everybody's always like, oh, I didn't know that you were this, like, alternative? I don't know, I've always had colored hair. I've always had gauges. Um, my nails are black most of the time. And I feel like when I had this lipstick on, it was kind of how I envisioned myself in my head, which is crazy. If it wasn't for YouTube, I probably would have never, ever pushed myself to wear this lipstick. So thank you. I don't know, but I'm super excited. Tomorrow's Halloween. I do have to work, but I do plan on doing some other festive stuff. So stay tuned for that vlog. Thank you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.